Oh, there's now a new interesting feature that has been implemented into Snapchat, which might I say, I think I called very a long time ago. If any of you have been watching the channel for quite a long time, you might have noticed I've done quite a few prediction videos. I think there was three proper prediction videos in the past that I did. And I can confidently say I've got 12 out of the 15 already implemented in the app. Those guesses, complete solids. They're actually in the application. Not my work, of course, but the fact that like I predicted them and they've come in, it's just a great feeling. I feel like I've got number 13. It's a little bit of a like a grab close sort of thing, uh, mainly because it's kind of not the feature, but it is. So I said a couple of years ago about implementing a passport, which essentially allows you to show on your profile flags of where you've been. And it was like kind of a pin system. You, know, you were supposed to be able to like pin the best countries you've been to, something you want to celebrate and just sort of show like the footprint you've had on the world. Well, Snapchat have implemented a feature that now tracks you on SnapMap. Uh, nothing to be worried about, of course, but it just allows you to see the percentage of the world you've covered. It's amazing, honestly. It's not as precise as I'd want it, but it's go. pretty good. So, according to Snapchat, I've travelled to seven countries via my memories and the data from Snap Maps, which I think is actually quite interesting that they've actually implemented this. And you can zoom in on the map and see the purple areas, and that's kind of where you've walked or seen or been around. It's sort of collected that data. Uh, recently, I've only just turned my uh, location onto Always whenever Snapchat's on. That's going to increase the percentage. I don't know whether I'm going to keep that on. And this is a feature you can obviously turn off in the settings as well by just disabling location. The data doesn't go anywhere externally to your friends, but if you're not really happy with Snapchat collecting that information, of course, you can turn that off. But SnapMap does that anyway, so if you're a user of SnapMap, it is, of course, going to collect that. I'm just going to put that out there because some of you may worry that Snapchat are tracking you, and they kind of always are. Most applications do know your location because when you press allow at the very beginning of starting up the application, it's kind of where they get it from. Now, the percentages, I think, are pretty precise. I would say there's some streets that aren't covered on there, but as I mentioned in my short video for this, 65.5% uh, of my town where I live, it's not a big place, has actually been covered by my feet, like actually where I've walked or driven or been around. And I would argue that is very precise, but with a hometown, it kind of is correct. But there's some other locations I've been on holiday and I've noticed that the the location isn't covered as much as I'd want. I know there's streets I've walked down, especially uh, in sunny beach, Bulgaria. There's a big long road from where we stayed. I walked down there at least three or four times and that road has no purple on it. So, I mean, it's not gonna bother me too much, but it's one of those things where you just think, you know, how precise is this? Is this something that they're gonna work on? Now, with my feature, I was all about celebrating where you've been. Whether Snapchat implements something in the future, a bit like what I mentioned in my previous video, probably three or four years ago, about being able to pin flags and nationalities onto your profile, because they really have beefed it up. Uh, before it was literally nothing, but now we can actually have a bit of a bio uh, on the creator's profile. But I think, you know, Snapchat have this fun element where they want you to celebrate your friendships. They want you to celebrate how long you've been on. They also want to celebrate when you're really born, your birthdays. I think the gems at the bottom of the profile are quite a neat addition that they did add way back in 2021, I think it was, or even maybe 2020. Very good addition. I really did enjoy uh, those fun elements of friendship. So to be able to celebrate the bits I do with my memories, not just posting on stories would be cool. Snapchat did release this officially via Snap Maps. If you open the application and you haven't been on it in a while, you'll get a notification saying introducing footsteps. And it basically tells you that all your memories have collected data and that has populated onto the map. So past data comes across. And that's why I think some of my data is a little bit off because I feel like it has only gone from the historical. When this actually was implemented, it's like the good old Snapchat days where it's really random. So you could be watching this video and it might not even be out for you yet. I thought those days were gone since they demolished it with the sort of Snapchat Plus subscription, but <laughs> we're back with random updates, which I absolutely love. It's what birthed my channel and it's what gave me a really good big platform. So I'll take it. Uh, in terms of the review, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. I feel like it's a good feature, it's a fun feature, but it doesn't really add anything to the Snapchat experience for everybody. It's a very personal experience, but I'll take that. You know, people buy maps on their walls where they scrape off the uh, top layer to reveal what countries they've done. Now, Snapchat have implemented it into the app. Another fun feature that just takes away from an app that you would need to download 
and it collects it automatically. It's a non-conscious thing. But of course, remember, for the best data, you will need to allow Snapchat to have location the majority of the time. This is something you can do in your settings. And if you're on iPhone, you can redact that very quickly if you decide, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't feel like I want Snapchat knowing the location. They don't track you, but it's knowing that that data is being sent. But you can learn more about that on Snapchat's website. They've got a support page on how they deal with locations and stuff. So, I mean, I'm keeping it on for a while, so don't worry. So it's exciting to have new Snapchat features. I feel like it's been a long time since I've done this, and obviously the Snap This Show, which is kind of where my bread and butter of the channel was, kind of like built on these fun, exciting ideas. So hence why I've done this video today, and I've also tried to keep it a new style and entertaining. I've just started doing shorts on the YouTube channel, which is a new world for me. So welcome to anyone who has come from the YouTube shorts to this video, because I have made a few on this topic because I think it's a really interesting one and a fun feature. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. We have a new outro song and I just want to mention like a massive thank you to Tim who I've been working with. We collaborated on a Snapchat lens and then he's helped uh, build the outro song. So I'm going to let him play in the background but uh, yeah massive thanks to him and if you are new around here of course you can subscribe and let us know down below what you think Snapchat features should come next. I still think Snapchat Live should be a feature. I don't know why that's never been implemented and that's not one of my predictions. But with that said, let's let Tim riff.